Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Janet and here on my channel we cover a little bit of everything um, from homeschool, mom life, organization, planner, everything that kind of falls under just being a mom. So I hope that you join me on, on this journey of figuring out homeschooling. Um, homeschooling kind of has taken over my channel for the last month or so and I hope you guys don't mind that. I do plan on continuing with the homeschool videos for as long as we do homeschool. Just trying to figure everything out here on camera, hoping that I can help you uh, in some way, somehow figure it out a little faster. So please do consider subscribing. It would help me out a ton and hit the little bell so you do get notified when I do post new videos. A lot of you asked what curriculum we are using this year and I was very hesitant on sharing this because because it's not like the the normal way of doing things and it's not something just ready available for you to buy although some of the workbooks that I am going to show you are easily accessible at Target and Amazon once I mentioned I answered your questions and I I said that I had uh, put my own together you guys were very intrigued and asked a bunch of more questions so um i'm going to kind of walk you guys through the process i went through to put my own um curriculum together and uh, yeah if you still have any questions uh, let me know ask them down below or over on my instagram <laughs> so top reasons on why i chose to do it this way First, the misconception of it, of homeschooling having to be expensive uh, was a big one holding my husband back from like jumping on board with the homeschooling along with other, other concerns. But when I told him that I can put my own together, then he's like, okay, then go for it. If it's not gonna cost me a bunch of money, then go for it. So instead of going out and purchasing some really expensive curriculum, Although there are some more affordable options, um, I just decided to do it this way because I already had a lot of stuff at home. So that was the biggest reason probably. And then the second reason was because kindergarten, I feel like you do have more wiggle room with it, but you can totally make your own um even with your older kids so those are my reasons why i decided and it did require a lot of note taking and planning but it is all worth it we are a little less than a month in and we are chugging along <laughs> so the first thing i did was i did research and i mean everybody does research everybody that is trying to figure out a curriculum is going to do some sort of research um, so the first thing I did was I googled, <laughs> I went over to Google and I googled what my kindergartner should know, what they should learn, um, sort of that sort of thing. Like how do I know my kindergartner is ready for first grade, all of those like keywords and I just jotted them down. And then I also went over on YouTube and I just um, looked up some flip throughs of different curriculum available. And then I just dot, jotted down what I was looking at, like, uh, okay, they're talking about shapes, 2D shapes, 3D shapes. And I'm using math as an example, but I did this with all the, the subjects. Once I knew everything that I wanted to cover, I broke it down by week. And I've, show, I've shared with you guys this uh, layout and I'll go ahead and link the video down below. So in my planner, I have a divider labeled this year in which I keep my year at a glance and also my whole curriculum at a glance. So I've shared with you this spreadsheet before, but I broke it down by week and then a date of that week and then um, divided by subject. So I have math, reading, uh, phonics, writing, science, social studies, and character education. So I just went down the list of things that I had listed of uh, things my kindergartner should know and I just filled in the little rectangles. And um, you, you 
will notice that some of these things don't need a whole week dedicated to like it's something that you can uh, demonstrate or just talk about and so forth and then my science and social studies are divided by units so i you see how i highlighted it different colors so all the pink uh ones are for the solar system outer space all of that then uh the yellow ones for was for the intro to science and then i have the green all about animals and so forth so after i did that I went over to my year at a glance and I'm not going to share with you the whole thing because I've already filled some stuff up in the top um, that has some personal information but um, I have this year at a glance sheet where I jot down a few activities or things that I want to do for certain lessons that are happening that month and that's just kind of a way to prepare my lessons later in the year and I don't have them all like in my brain like they're actually written down and I have some ideas. I will also link my Pinterest board down below because I have tons of ideas down there. So go ahead and check that out. And that stays in my handy dandy do-it-yourself binder uh, planner. Um, so I can refer to on a weekly basis when I'm putting uh, our schedule together and our week together for the following week. So then i went out and i bought these three ring uh binders we have math we have social studies uh reading and language arts and science i had a lot of different workbooks that i just deconstructed i just deconstructed them and then i divided them in little uh clear pockets then i had moved on to patterns in another pocket then all about uh shapes in another pocket and then using a number chart and then we're moving on to tally marks i i had so many workbooks from dollar tree target dollar spot the 99 cent store um to to deconstruct and kind of put them in the order that i wanted um, so I can easily just grab out of the pocket for that week and divide it by day. So some of the bigger workbooks that I uh, ripped up is this big kindergarten book. I got this one from Amazon or Target. I don't remember where, but it covers a little bit of everything. And this is for ages eight through five, um, five through six. And I still have a lot of pages that I can rip out. I just didn't need all of them. And then I also picked up this Tinker Active. Uh, this is first grade. Um, and it covers math, science, and English. Um, and I got this from Costco, but I know it's for first grade, but it had a lot of the science stuff that we were going to be covering. So I picked it up anyway. So each pocket, like I said, is a week. So the only thing about deconstructing workbooks is that you're going to get some pages on the back of some pages and it's just kind of, ugh, that's the only downside. But um, yeah, this is my science binder. And again, Everything is divided by the week and I shared with you a whole video about how I put my science curriculum together uh, using the picture dictionary and uh, indescribable. Um, it's the, uh, the devotions about science and God and then the junior dictionary. I just use that kind of as my guideline to creating the curriculum. For reading, we are still using Teacher Child to read in 100 Easy Lessons along with the Bob books and I have a whole video on that. And for handwriting, we are using handwriting without tears just because the reviews were just too good to pass this up. And um, a lot of the, like, the way they describe... Um, the words it's just so helpful for me to help David um, like jump like a frog or dive and uh, here this is what I'm talking about so starting uh, the corner and then you draw the big line and then you jump up back to the top so little things like that that are going to help me help David like remember how to do a certain word or okay this one dives down and then you swim up and over and then back down and then so forth so the swimming and then the the jumping and that sort of thing that is kind of what sold me on this but I didn't buy the teacher's guide and I didn't buy like the blocks that it, you can the blocks that you can get with or the chalkboard that you can get with it that accompany to accompany it and then according to the reviews a lot of people said that the guide wasn't truly nece necessary so I just got the workbook 
And then for reading, I am using this reading journal. This is from uh, Homeschool of Bel Air, and I'll link her Teachers Pay Teachers down below. I love this little journal. It is so cute. It's got so much color. I don't have the best printer, um, and I don't. It just wastes so much ink. So I only printed out one set of pages, and then I'm, I've just been talking to David about it. A lot of the things that you saw on my uh, curriculum at a glance, these are things that. I don't need to de dedicate a whole week to because we are talking about it on a daily basis if that makes any sense like, and the journal is a little advanced for David to do it on his own so again it's just me talking about it and uh, us you know discussing it then it has some phonics stuff some word families and uh, some posters from Dollar Tree and more workbook pages that have been ripped up and divided by what I want to teach by the week I also have a few hands-on things that we will be working with. Uh, this is Sight Word of the Day. I got this from Target Dollar Spot, but I know you can print out a bunch of worksheets just like this uh, off of Pinterest, pay, Teachers Pay Teachers, all about the sight words. And then I also have this CVC Word Builder uh, that comes with a bunch of pictures that I printed out and laminated um, to build the word. And along with that, I also have this magnetic board from Target Dollar Spot and it comes with the picture and then magnetic letters so you can build the, the, the word for that picture. Um, I have a ton of other stuff that I've shown you guys plenty of times, different um, flashcards and manipulatives that I've shown you in hauls and in room tour videos. So you can go ahead and check those out um, down below. I have a whole list of videos that you can go ahead and check out and then for handwriting I also have a few more um, workbooks just to kind of switch it up every once in a while instead of just using the handwriting without tears and I also have some workbooks for Diego all about shapes and colors. So after I googled I made the order I deconstructed all my workbooks and separate, separated them into these binders then on Saturday night usually because Sunday is kind of like our day at grandma's house so we don't have I don't have time to do any planning on Sunday I usually do my planning on Saturday or Friday night for the next week I showed you guys before that I wanted that I had these um folders like the ones with the little flap in them whatever and uh, that's how I was going to divide the work but I told you I wanted to keep it in David's backpack and he could pull it out every morning and so forth but the backpack just got too heavy and like he couldn't move his chair around because the backpack was too heavy the backpack was on his chair so I just you know whatever we can pull these out and then I ended up buying one of these hanging um, folder holders and that I showed you guys in my last haul and I just labeled them Monday Tuesday Monday through Friday and he knows okay so on Monday I'll grab my Monday folder and then I'll have all the worksheets and that we are gonna do that day so I'll pull out anything that is for math for that week for social studies for reading and science and then I'll divide it by the day um, now we don't do social studies and science every day um, we do uh, science the first three days of the week and then social studies we do the last two days of the week unless it's a, like a really heavy unit on social studies and we kind of switch and then reading and my language arts stuff um, this one is a little different because a lot of the things you can just kind of demonstrate or practice throughout the day yeah. so that one was a little more different I do have a yeah we gotta be quiet okay and you don't necessarily have to print everything out before school like you already know the order that you're going to teach it so you don't need to have it all on hand like what you're gonna do in March of next year hope that you find this video helpful I am so sorry that I can't like show you everything just because I had already done it um, but I hope that just seeing the finished product you can kind of figure out how I did it <laughs> Um, but that is it for today's video. Again, if you still have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me down below or over on my Instagram. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.